Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome to a 7 Days to Die House Flipper episode. It's been a while since I've done one of these. We're here at this house in the middle of the desert. It's got a military bunker underneath it. The coordinates for this place are about 1200 south by 30 east. If you wanted to find it yourself, it is in Navisgain. I'm not sure if this house pops up in random gen worlds or not. Maybe it does, but I doubt it only because it gets pretty crazy down below in the bunker. As you can see, we are pretty much yeah in the middle of nowhere. Nice backdrop in the backyard, though. All these mountains and shit. Crazy windy driveway leading up to this place. Uh, I'm not crazy about the rooftops at all. Definitely going to level those out, make everything nice and square and boxy and more modern looking. Uh, definitely needs a closed-in garage, so we're going to destroy that entire porch back there and build ourselves a garage. Get rid of this car here. And we're just going to kind of go through this place. Clean it up a little bit as we go, and then the majority of the cleanup I will do off camera just to make things go by a little bit faster. Um, all this stuff's got to go, obviously. All this wood framework above us, I'm probably going to get rid of. Uh, we'll just see how things go. First things first, though, all the windows got to go. Um, all this stuff's probably going to go, too. I mean, it's kind of cool, and I get it, we're in the desert, it provides a little bit of shade, but like I said, I want this place to look a bit more modern, so I think we're going to have to clean all of that up. Everything in here has got to get removed. It's kind of strange that they got you walking right into the kitchen area. Definitely not going to put the kitchen right by the front door. Obviously, this ceiling here needs to be uh, repaired, but we'll get rid of all these blocks here. Well, that's kind of cool, I like how they did that with the hanging lights. Whoops. Um, we better grab some wood blocks and put them in our inventory here, or our tool belt, so we can make any repairs as we go along destroying shit. Okay, looks like we got four doors back here. Some dirt on the floor, big piece of furniture we can get rid of. Whoops, that part was actually just a painted wall. Replace that block right there. Here we go, pop this door open. A little bedroom with uh, double doors outside. How many entrance ways do you need into this house? There's already two of them. I'll probably just seal that up. This door should lead to the back patio, which it does, and eventually will be the garage once we get that uh, completed. Now, this goes downstairs to the basement, and then eventually the bunker. We'll check that out in a second. Got a bathroom right here. It feels kind of tight in here. I wonder if we can open this up a little bit. I don't know. I think we'll be pushing into the garage space, so maybe we'll just uh, see if we can redesign it in a way. It doesn't feel so tight in here. Uh, but that's it. You know, this goes outside, which eventually will be the garage, and then you've got the downstairs basement. So the house itself is relatively small. It's all the crazy shit going on underneath the house that's adding value to it and driving up the price. But we're gonna clean it all up down here. I'm gonna redo these steps. I hate the see-through steps. We're gonna put nice concrete steps in there. Uh, clean up this entire basement here. It'll probably be set up for storage. And then we'll head down into the bunker and it's just gonna be madness down here. But my goal is to turn all of this crazy military shit into just comfortable living space. I'll have to replace those blocks here in a second. Uh, we'll get down there in a second also. I want to clean up all this shit here. And uh, I don't think there's anything else going on here. But w what we could do is, is push these walls back a bit further if we wanted to. For a closet space or just more space in general down here. Um, but like I said, I think it's going to be like... Uh, laundry room slash storage down here and then this I'm probably gonna open this all up and put like a spiral staircase here instead of a ladder because like I said I want it to be I want it to have a more of a comfortable home feel to it not this you know nasty uh, rusted metal fucking fallout shelter you know this is like where you hide the aliens holy shit this, is, this place is madness I don't know how I'm going to make sense of all of this, you know? I'm going to have to open up all of the walls down here and figure all this shit out. And that's what I love doing the most about House Flipper. I love creating floor plans and making shit work and building things. Furnishing things is not my favorite part of the flip. 
I mean, look at this, dude. What are we going to do with all of this madness right here? Ooh, we got a nice big kitchen. Might actually leave this as a kitchen. Hole in the floor here. Drops down to bathroom and living quarters. Look at this shit, dude. You know, my head is spinning right now. So, um, first things first, we need to clear out all of the junk, all of the shit. And then we're going to start knocking walls down and figure it out. Because like I was just saying, that's what I love to do the most. Furnishing the home and furnishing the place is not my favorite thing to do. Here's another exit. Yeah, look at this. Just pop right up out of the sand. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm either going to seal this up. Or we're going to have to maybe build like a little outhouse that also has an entrance down into the bunker. I don't know though, man. This is going to be so much work. Holy shit. Just clearing all of this place out and making it ready to to build and, and edit. That alone is going to take forever. But it's going to be fun and it's going to be worth it. And I hope you enjoy this format of quote-unquote house flipping better than the actual game house flipper because I don't know if I'm going to be making any more of those videos. You know, I do enjoy that game and it's a great game to unwind to and relax and chill um, but not my favorite to create content for because the majority of that game is just cleaning up and then refurnishing and that's not my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is design and build. As cool as I think these hanging lights are, they gotta go, because that entire rooftop is going. We're flattening this roof, so that peak roof, that's all getting destroyed. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna destroy the roof and rebuild it. I may start uh, building the garage, at least get the framework down there, and then clean up everything on the inside of the house and down in the bunker, and then we'll come back, take a quick tour, See how everything looks, start building some things like the spiral staircase I want to build and stuff like that. And we'll try and make sense of the bunker and see how we're going to make that work. We need to put some bedrooms down there, a kitchen, place to hang out and watch TV. So who knows? A lot to figure out still. Okay, here we go. Already this place has a much more modern look to it. And all we did is pretty much just flatten the rooftop. But hey, we're out in the desert, man. It doesn't rain often out here. We're fine with the flat roof. Matter of fact, I put in a skylight right there. I thought that might be cool. Shed some more natural light in, and I couldn't help myself. I just wound up building the garage. Let me get rid of these trees here. At least for now, we can always replant. But they're just getting in my way. Blocking out my light here. Yeah, pretty simple garage, man. Nothing special. But it's definitely it definitely adds to the house. And come on, you need a closed-in garage. Got the garage door working here. And everything is, it's still sand and dirt on the inside, so we need to fix that. I'm going to lay asphalt down. I think I'm going to do that actually around the, the house completely. Because the house right now is sitting on sand, and no one builds homes on sand. That's silly. Here's the basement. I completely removed the steps. So i got to rebuild those. Make them much more solid and just wrap them around into the entrance here into the basement. Um, I pushed this wall back a little bit further. I thought maybe I'll make this like a big closet with a bunch of storage. I don't know. I open this all up here, and this is where we're going to build our spiral staircase. So let's see how this works. We're going to start right here. And then go down and just keep wrapping it around. We'll go down one more, and then we're going to just have to use a normal block right here. So we'll put the steps there. And then, again, another normal block right here has like a little platform. So put one there, one there, and just keep wrapping the stairs around. And hopefully this works out by the time we get down to the bottom. Okay, and we'll just seal this entrance way up. I opened that up myself. That was already sealed, so we'll just keep it sealed. And that works out great, because that's the way in and out, and the stairs just happen to fall Perfectly in line there. I love when things work out like that. Up here, we need to put in a railing so people don't fall to their death. And eh, not your death, but you definitely break a leg, maybe. Um, let's use the wooden railing so we can paint it any color we want. And we'll just wrap this bad boy around here. Beautiful. That's looking good. Now let's get back down there and I'll show you what else we got going on down here. 
It's definitely a clusterfuck right now. Um, oh, this floor's gotta get removed. I didn't realize these were plates down here. Just knock the plates out and put in blocks. And then, like I was saying earlier, we're definitely gonna have to probably bust out a lot of the walls down here and kind of start from scratch and just have to... We'll have to do that delicately, though, so uh, this whole place doesn't collapse in on us. Uh, I'll leave that open for now. Maybe we can put, like, bookshelves over there or something. I don't know. Uh, the ceilings are way too high, so those have to come down. But, I mean, look at this, dude. A lot of little rooms all connected. That's not going to work if you want to make them into bedrooms. You know, you can't just have a bunch of interconnected bedrooms. You have to have like a hallway or some shit with bedrooms on either side. Uh, I took that bridge out up there for now. Uh, and the stairs that were over here that got you up to this bridge. So I don't know what we're going to do. This room is just a big giant room. I, uh, you know, it was a kitchen and I'd like to keep it that way, but... I just, I'm just not 100% on anything right now. Um, I think I'm going to square this up here. I like the way it looks, but I, I want this to have a modern feel throughout. So I think squaring that up over there will be the better decision. And this is just a huge room also. Um, it's opened right here, but I might seal it off. And then this is where the living quarters were. I mean, dude, it's just a mess. This is connected to a bathroom. I'm thinking maybe this will be like a like a big bedroom. Maybe this is the master bedroom with its own bathroom. I don't know. And then um, back here is where the other entrance or exit way is. And I opened it all up up there. And I'm not sure, again, what to do with this area either. If I just seal it off or, or what, you know? Because if I was going to make this an entrance way, I'd want to do it the same way as I did before with the other entrance way and do a spiral staircase. But you can't just have a spiral staircase out here, you know, in the front yard. I'd have to build like a little guest house or some shit or a, or a garage or something, you know? And, and uh, I don't know if I want to deal with that. I might just seal it all up. But anyway, for now, let me finish uh, putting in the asphalt here. Then I'm going to get down in the bunker and maybe start knocking some walls out and see if I can make some sense of the layout down there. Then we'll come back, check everything out. And uh, once we can get the layout nailed down, then the next steps are easy. Just paint and furnish. All right, here we go. Got all of the asphalt completed. It runs around the entire property, so now our home it doesn't look like it's sitting on sand. I mean, I would like to even extend the asphalt out further, but uh, I'm not going to go too crazy here. As long as we got a nice solid driveway, that the asphalt runs into the uh, garage, obviously, and it's looking nice and good in here. We put some stairs right there, and that's it. Garage is ready for paint and furnishing. I put the windows in, the doors in, planted some goldenrod tea out front here. So we're looking good. I tried putting flowers in the bird baths, but it wasn't working for some reason. They just kept disappearing. Uh, we need to put in some sort of overhang here, at least for the front door, the front entrance way. You know what I mean? So let's build the roof out here like this. And I, I don't like it just floating there. So we've got a couple of options. We could put in uh, like a pillar here in the corner. That might look cool. Yeah, that actually looks good. But it's still too, like, open, I feel like. Uh, I don't want to put a solid wall here. What if we put those, um, those metal trussing, trussing blocks? Is that what they're called? Or uh, they do them in wood now, too. What the hell are they called? Uh, they're like crosshatch, uh, those are the metal ones. The trussings. Um, these. These are what I'm looking for. What if we just put, like, a wall of those right here? There we go. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I like that. And we're going to do like a two-tone paint job on this place. So whatever color we do the trim, that's the color we'll do those pieces right there. And I think that'll look real good. We need to extend the uh, framework right there. And those, I believe, are uh, half plates. Uh, here we go. Let's extend that on this side. We'll copy the rotation of that block, bring that out to the edge like that, and then we'll copy the rotation of this block and bring it out to the edge. Beautiful. All right, let's get in here. The house itself is ready for paint and furnishing. Nothing else I'm going to do in here. Skylight's looking nice, letting in some more natural light. Um, got the garage right here. That's all done. 
bathroom. Okay, that size is going to work. We'll just lay it out a little bit differently. A bedroom right here. Sealed that up. And then we got the basement. I've rebuilt the stairs in here. I pushed this wall in also one block to make the stairs two wide instead of three wide. And they just wrap around nicely. Got a little space right here that we can put like uh, an end table or uh, one of those nightstand lights or whatever. Uh, I sealed that up right there. That was kind of pushed far back. I was going to do like a deep closet thing, but instead I'm going to do just uh, a wall of storage there or something. We'll figure it out. Got our spiral staircase leading down, and then it just opens up right here. Not sure what I'm going to do with this space right here. Maybe a TV, a hangout room. This is going to be a giant bathroom with all of the amenities, shower, tub, everything. And it's going to have two ways to get in and out of it, like some bathrooms do. I don't know why, I just thought it'd be cool if we did that. Uh, big bedroom right here. I might actually section off uh, a bathroom in the back that's so big. But I don't know, because this bedroom also has a bathroom. Unless we make this like an office back here. Not sure. But these are all going to be bedrooms. Here's another one. Another small little bedroom right here. Not really small. Um, I rebuilt the bridge up there, I'll show you in a second. Uh, not sure what, what to do with this space over here. Not sure what the hell to do with this big giant room. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I was thinking maybe like a big giant mess hall. I was thinking of building stairs up here. Because I, I built, I extended this bridge this way. Right? And then I was going to build some sort of spiral stairs down into the giant room we were just in. But I don't know how we're going to get up there yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have a way to get up to that bridge. Uh, this area, this is the, uh, other entrance exit way, which I will probably end up sealing up. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm going to have to build a whole other house up there and kind of like mimic the house that already exists. And that would be a shit ton of work. That could be a video in and of its own. So probably just seal it up. But we need to figure out a way to get up here to this area. Because right now I've got this big room here, which I kind of want to make a kitchen. That's what I'm thinking. Across the way here, I'm thinking make this like a pantry, right? And just load it up with a bunch of stock and stuff that you're gonna that any bunker would need. Um, but how the hell are we gonna get down? So my thought was uh, right here, I would build stairs that kind of spiral down into this room. So that's the idea right now. But I I'm not married to it. I don't even like the idea, quite frankly. But I'm just running on fumes right now, and uh, I think I might just take a break, walk away for a little bit, come back, find some new inspiration, and then uh, we'll figure all this shit out. All right, all of the painting is just about done. I know it's hard to tell, it's so bright out here, but we went with a light gray and a beige two-tone for the house. All of the brickwork out here is redone. It looks nice and clean, exactly the way I envisioned it. Along here, the trim, we use that Romanesque kind of statue figure. I thought that was real obnoxious, and I like it that way. Uh, I built a little flower garden over here, and that's it. It's all done. I'm not doing anything else. I like it nice and clean like that. In here is all painted and ready for furnishing. So that's all good to go. Skylight, I think we're going to do the kitchen over there. We'll see how that all goes, though. Uh, what do we got? We got a bedroom in here. It's all done. It uh, just needs furniture. That leads down to the basement. We'll go down there in a second. Here's the bathroom. Got a tub built. Just need to put in the shower and all the rest of the furnishings in there. There's the garage. That's all done. So let's get down in the basement here. It's all painted down here. Uh, no, it's not. Forgot to paint the ceiling. Shit. All right. <laughs> let's do that real quick. Grab the, the color from this ceiling there and just slap it on. Okay. So yeah, that's it with the basement. Just needs furnishing. Let's get down here into the bunker. Okay, so I think I've got this whole area figured out. I put in two spiral staircases, one on either side, and they both lead up to the rooms upstairs where uh, that go to the bridge. So if we go up these stairs right here, it takes us to the room that we're thinking about turning into a kitchen. And then we can go across the bridge to the pantry area, and then we can go down these stairs right here if we want as well. And then this room here is just going to be a room. I'm thinking maybe make it into like a gym or a uh, like a TV room. Put in a big screen. It's like a theater room maybe. But I have to raise the ceiling up a little bit because it's pretty low in there. Uh, and then we got this giant room here, which I don't know what to do with. I do have kind of an idea, 
but uh, we'll see how we'll see how it all works out. I put this door in here, right? Because this leads to a tiny little hallway to the other opening. I still haven't sealed this up yet. I know I keep saying I'm going to seal it up, but I don't know. I kind of want to do something with it. I'm just not sure what. And I don't want to just settle and, and you know, do something on a whim. So for now, there's a door there. If I want to seal it up, it's real easy. Just knock out the door, put in a couple of blocks, put in a ceiling up there, lay down the sand, and we're done. So anyway, um, still a lot of work left to be done. All of the downstairs needs to be painted. And then uh, we need to figure out what we're going to do with that second opening. And then we need to furnish this place. But there is one more thing I want to add. And that is a pool. So we're going to knock a doorway out from the back of the garage. And now instead of building a pool in the backyard here, we're going to build a staircase up to the rooftop. And we're going to make a rooftop pool and bar and seating area. And it's going to be sweet. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this railing system around the entire perimeter of the rooftop. This way, if someone's up here having a few drinks, they don't accidentally fall off the roof and then try and be a little bitch ass and sue us. Okay, that's done. Safety first. Now we need to finish off these steps here. They look weird. I don't know. I, we'll just put some blocks in for now. And then uh, I'll figure it out later. We might just put some ramp blocks, upside down ramp blocks in. So it's like on a slope and then maybe put a pillar there for support. And those will be done. So for now, let's uh, go ahead and build the pool. Okay, not sure if we should go two blocks deep or not. Maybe I'll put half blocks up there. Because just one block deep, it's a pain in the ass to try and get the water to sit right. I'm going to throw some stairs in here for now, though. I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting half blocks on top of these full blocks. And that should, uh, that should be good. I'm going to build some stairs here now to access the pool. And then we're pretty much done with construction after that. All we'll have left to do is finish painting and furnish. Here we go, finished product. I'm pretty damn happy with it. Not much has changed to the outside that you guys haven't seen other than a little bit of paint that we did to the uh, railing system. I sealed up the the uh, other entryway down into the bunker. I finally decided to do that. Fuck it. Um, and then, of course, you know, the pool and the bar and the seating areas up on the rooftop. That's all done. We'll take a closer look at that uh, in a bit, I just want to do a quick fly around of the property. It looks a lot different than what it did look like. Uh, you know, the rooftop made a huge difference. I think it looks much more modern and sleek now. I mean, dude, look at the stairs leading up to the roof and then the stairs leading up again into the pool. That looks sick. Nothing much has changed out here. I put a couple of light fixtures by the doors, but that's it. Left it nice and clean and neat out there. Uh, you got your entryway, kitchen area. Uh, and then a seating area, nothing too crazy, you know. And my dog taking a nap right here in the sunlight from the skylight. And that's it. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it's a pretty small house up here. Downstairs is where all the magic happens. Here's the garage. Got my 4x4, four four, uh, little workshop area and storage area, sink, workbench, mixer, table saw, a couple of bikes. We got our own gas, you know. In case we run out of gas in the Jeep, we can gas up right at home. Uh, and then out here, of course, we got the stairs that we built leading up to the rooftop. Got some seating areas right here. A fully loaded bar, because who doesn't like getting drunk on a rooftop? You know, what, what could happen? Nothing bad, right? I put in a railing system. You'll be totally safe. And then these stairs up here lead to the pool. And the pool is looking sick. I did exactly like I said I was going to do. I added half blocks on top of the full blocks and that allowed me to fill the water line uh, pretty much all the way up to the top. And yeah, man, you can chill in your pool, have a nice view of the wasteland. And uh, it's pretty fucking sweet up there. I'm glad I decided to add that in. And I'm glad the rooftop didn't collapse when I loaded the pool with water. Now in here, we've got pretty simple bathroom. 
Nothing crazy going on, just a sink, a light, you know, mirror, medicine cabinet, toilet, built the bathtub with the shower, and uh, that's all good. Uh, let's close that door, and that's down to the basement. Uh, here's the bedroom up here. Nothing crazy, dude. You know, I'm not a home decorator. Furnishing is a tough part for me. I mean, it's not tough, you know. I just prefer construction and building over painting and furnishing. Anyway, let's get down in the basement here. Pretty cool down here. You can get your laundry done or you can cook up some meth in the chem station right across the way. And a whole bunch of supplies right here. Guns, ammo, explosive weapons, storage, first aid supplies, a running forge. Everything you need is right there. Now, let's go ahead and get down into this bunker. I went ahead and put a vault door in just so it's a little bit more official. You know what I mean? So here we go. Um, we're all sealed in. Little hangout room right off the bat, so you can kick back, watch some TV. Won't be any live TV if the world ends, though, so you better have a big stack of DVDs on hand. Here's this big giant bathroom, the biggest shower I've ever built. It's one of those showers where you got, like, fucking shower heads all over the place, so you're just getting hit, hit with water everywhere. You don't even have to wash yourself. You just stand in the middle of the shower, and the shower does everything for you. Got a bathtub, too, if you want to relax. His and her sinks. Toilet. Trash can. And that's it. Two entrances uh, into this bathroom. Uh, a little hallway here with a whole bunch of bedrooms. Bedroom right here. Desk in the back if you want to sit down and get some work done and read. I thought about adding in another bathroom into this bedroom, but that was getting silly because this bedroom uh, actually has its own bathroom. So, uh, desk to get some work done. Wardrobe, couch, bed. And then the bathroom just opens up right here. You got his and her sinks. Bathtub, toilet, all of the standard amenities. So that's it. And we got, what, one more bedroom, I believe? Yeah, because across the way, that's the bathroom right there. We got one more smaller bedroom right here. And all the standard stuff. Bed, TV, wardrobe, all the good shit. This room right here. I toyed with a lot of different things to do with this room, and I figured in the end, hey, if you're going to be surviving down here in a bunker, you better have a food source. So I turned this into a giant grow room, and uh, we got some water here, all of the control panels right here, a bunch of ventilation. We've got blueberries, uh, potatoes, coffee, of course, if the world ends, you need to have coffee, and then corn. And that's it. Pretty sweet. You know, I mean, if the world ends... You got to be able to sustain life. So that's what this room is doing. All right, we'll close that so none of the CO2 leaches out and kills us. You got to pump the room full of CO2 because that's what plants like to breathe. Now we'll head up these stairs first. And this is uh, what I meant it to be. Kind of like a storage pantry area. A whole bunch of food and water all stored right here. And then down this hallway here, we have the kitchen area, which is also what I wanted to do. And again, these stairs just lead back down to the grow room. So uh, up here, you got the table you can sit at. I also wrapped the countertop around and put some bar stools in. Uh, water cooler, uh, all the stuff in the kitchen, microwave, oven, fridge, dishwasher, sink. I mean, goddamn, the kitchen down here is nicer than the kitchen upstairs. I'm, I would just live down here in the bunker. It's way nicer down here than upstairs. And then this room right here is a theater room. So if you want to kick back, watch a movie, you got some beverage coolers in here as well. Uh, only problem is, like I said, there's no internet, right? If the world ends, so you better have a projector or a DVD player, Blu-ray player, something, man. Because you better have something to watch and, and kill time. Because that's all you'll be doing down here is just killing time. So that's it, guys. The bunker is done. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun and very satisfying. I really like the way it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of this property and if there are other properties or POIs or locations that you'd like to see me flip next. I know a lot of people have asked me to do the house on the hill in Navisgain, the one just north of Dyersville. That place is crazy too. The house is not only gigantic, but underneath the house is way bigger than this bunker. So I don't know what I would do with that place. A lot of people want to see me turn it into the bat cave, which is a pretty cool idea. So I'll have to put some thought into it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It means a lot. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to, that would be awesome. It really does help out the channel. You guys can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 7 Days to Die videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one.